okay uh, register number 97 Who is registered number 97 is not there now? Who put 97, mom? You tried one more time to get all right. Uh. Huh? No, 97. 80, Supriya, very good. Arti, uh, you didn't... Uh, Arti, good. Arti, enter your register number always. And uh, register number 37, Jayshree. Yeah, Jayshree, you are performing very well, Jayshree. Are you there, Jayshree? Every time uh, she's getting Jay, she, Supriya, or we're always in the top. Hmm? 78, Shashank, good. Register number 48, Tyagi. You are not attending the class, you are getting good score. Very good. 69, uh, Sai Mani Teja, yeah, good. 92, Varsha is good. Okay. I think uh, these people have done an uh, excellent uh, thing. But one thing I have to say, Shanmuga, are you there? Why Shanmuga? Uh, uh, Anurag? I have no. Anshuri no Subramanian? Uh, you'll tell some. Anur 46. Kausalya. Why, Ma? First, Shanmuga. I wrote again, ma'am. Ma he didn't join. Da. That was problem I wrote again, ma'am. Ma'am. Is it? Visa non po zero zero one zero, ma'am. Yeah, Shanmuga. Ma'am, I have a problem, ma'am. Ma so I can't able to tag him, ma'am. Yeah, we see the thing is, uh, uh, don't tell this reasons frequently because uh, I have to give one important instructions now. Uh, mm, seven not one, Shanmuga. What happened, Shanmuga, for you? I have no problem, problem ma'am. So I can't problem. able to log in. Okay, okay. But even I gave till 11 o'clock. That's why I'm conducting the exam on Wednesday and Friday. Because after my hour, you have a break. And Friday, after that, that is my last hour. Especially, that's why I'm conducting on last hours. And I don't know, only 64 students have taken the test. Actually, only 163. But yesterday, one, uh, nearly 83 were present. So 20 students were not taking. So actually the Kagot quiz is for your purpose only we are conducting. You are not attending in the sense means um, while you are going for any online exams. Now we can't predict what kind of exam you are going to face. Okay. Those who are having arrear, you ask them. Online exam is only the way they are getting clear. Most, hey, who is... Anshuri, put your mic in mute, ma. Anshuri Subramanian. Yeah. See, uh, actually, I have to give one uh, important instruction. Um, once again, wait. Uh, you know, from Monday onwards, you have CAE exam. Did everyone remember that? Yes, continuous assessment exam. Yes, yeah. Actually, continuous exam, exa assessment exam, we were going to conduct for uh, 30 mocks. Once again, there's problem on sharing. 76 have joined. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Is it visible for you, Ma? Assessment exams, is it yes, visible? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Okay. Actually, uh, I will tell you the procedure because the Monday, the first exam is principles of embedded systems. So first exam you are writing. So don't commit any mistakes while you are writing. I think you will receive this uh, in your portal and all. But anyway, I am saying that mainly assessment exam will be in Satya Bama LMS portal. Okay. I think uh, Jagan is here. Jagan. Jagan present today. He will join late only. Jagan is here only. Jagan. 
yeah jagan uh, actually your portal is open but you didn't submit the assignment try to submit immediately are you clear ma okay uh, yeah only four four members only your your year coordinator said that they can't able to submit the remaining all 92 can submit but still you can't submit now you have to be uh, lose your marks okay at least four what they will do i will uh, discuss with the year coordinator and i will tell the remaining if you are not submitting then obviously you lose your marks so you understand that uh, your exams will be conducted by satyabhama lms okay the question paper is also will be at the time of examination okay so we will put up the question there will be a link it will be open sharply at for your timing your examination time in will be uh, 12:15 to 1:15 it will start on monday na all the day the exam timing is from 12:15 to 1:15 okay so uh, you have to use only a4 sheet those who are not having a4 sheet at your home kindly buy it and keep it can you understand or not answers must be in handwritten uh, don't have, i think that while you are uploading uh, you can able to control c control v is not possible are you clear or not if if it is not in handwritten we won't evaluate your answer sheet so please kindly write and submit okay and one more thing blue ball pen only you have to use don't use other uh, other colors only blue and if you want to draw any diagram you use pencil okay and at the right top of the corner you have to mention your name and register number and one more thing while you are uploading also first for register number followed by your name how you are putting um, uh, in uh, zoom how you are entering na the same way follow while you are uploading also can you understand then only it is uh, some of them have uh, uploaded uh, the assignment um, very smart they put your register number some of them not put so uh, don't think that while you are uploading any um, assignments or any question paper register number followed by your name okay and then students uh, you have to write through zoom actually while you are writing your exam once you downloaded you have to uh, be in zoom only i think the same on link only they you have to provide so at that time the staff will monitor your uh, examination you have to enable your web camera don't say that ma'am i don't have actually yesterday while i am checking your attendance rajamanikam you are you don't have a web camera you have only microphone so don't have such a thing you have to always enable your web camera are you clear so we will monitor the faculty will monitor through the zoom app don't think that single faculty can monitor 97 there will be some nothing will be there okay so scan your work with the enough lighting and make pdf last time i have seen uh, actually uh, today i will release your marks so you have seen some of them uh, while you are writing your handwriting is not eligible for me so please scan it in proper lighting and one student scanned along with the uh, uh, tumbler so don't do that and all scan your answer sheet alone don't scan the finger and uh, the environment which is around the answer sheet okay and you are the final year you can't able to capture uh, correctly your answer sheet okay and after completion your answer sheet should be in be in the pdf are you clear ma so upload the answer sheet once the time slot is over okay uh, sorry once the time you have one hour exam now 50 minutes for writing and 10 minutes for uploading you have to take and your smartness and your computer speed once that one hour is over you can't able to upload your answer sheet that uh, lms won't support so 12 15 you are receiving now within 1 15 you are supposed to submit your answer sheet are you clear okay so that's why they have given so the question pattern part a five two marks will be there 10 marks part b 10 we are going to give only two 10 marks okay but that uh, but uh, part b you have a internal choice either or type will be there but part a there will be no internal choice will be there and uh, this will be the time so this is the steps you have to follow while you are uh, so you log in into the lms portal one thing you understand while um, uh, before that you just log in into lms before the uh, correct time can you understand then as per the cae time table i think uh, you will receive your cae time table have you all received ma have you received the cae time table 
Yes, ma'am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First exam is so you have to go to the click CAE test link inside the course module. For example, principle of embedded system. Now you have to click on that uh, uh, subject and go. There will be CAE one test link will be there. Download the question paper. Okay, write the answer in A4 sheet mandatory. After on answering all the question, convert into single PDF. Go to CAE test link and click add submission. Okay, upload the answer script as a single PDF and then click save changes. Actually, most of them while you are submitting your assignment, your assignment in uh, draft. I think Tyagi have put the message for you, so you understand that your answer sheet should be save changes. That means you have a you have submitted the assignment to me. Okay, then um, new pay your attached PDF will be shown. Kindly verify and uh, submit the. Then click submit assignment. I think submit assignment only will be there. So, sir, in the new page, click the check box for acknowledgement and select continue. I think uh, this you have received. This file did you receive, ma? Kindly tell this file did you receive, yes, ma? Yeah, I think I have given only for yes, the instruction. Yeah, super. So please uh, go through the instruction while uploading your answer sheet. Uh, why I gave the first exam is our, my exam, so that's why I gave the instruction. So be think that your camera should be on and uh, 12:15 to 1:15 your exams and be ready. Open your LMS portal. Uh, click on the CIE test link. Download your question paper. 15 minutes for writing you take and 10 minutes for uh, uploading. Don't say my supply is not there. So if in any internet disconnectivity, uh, we will consider your uh, uh, you are absent for the exam. Nearly 30 marks have uh, been allocated for CAE one. Five two marks and two ten marks. So be aware that your web camera and your internet facility and you have to be correctly with your A4 sheet along with your name and register number at the top of the thing and you have to convert into single PDF. Use the scam scanner or the tab scanner. It is automatically. I think cam scanner get uh, no the another one top scanner is there. Uh, it's available. Uh, so download it and uh, in your mobile and it is do it the process process immediately. And in LMS is also available in our uh, uh, in our Google Play Store. So you can download it and you can upload through your mobile also. I think you have done it for your assignment. So please kindly students make through that and uh, write the exam. All the best for your exam. Okay, ma. Okay, and I'm um, um, giving me important questions, ma'am. Uh, give me important question. Shanmuga, while I'm starting the class, I have gave all the questions. Uh, I have shared you. You need to. Did you remember or not? Okay. Today I will show some question paper to you. Are you clear? Okay. So see, yes, listen, ma'am. Ma. Uh, this is unit three. Actually, today I will complete the pick microcontroller. Okay. Uh, the another one is ARM seven processor that we see in the next class. So Cisco risk over architecture over memory organization over addressing modes over. So only the remaining is assembly language instruction. Actually, one advantage in the pick microcontroller is you need not to uh, uh, write any program on this. Are you clear, ma? The program is not mandatory for the uh, for your syllabus. So only thing is you have to remember. Okay. Actually, uh, this I will go through this PPG. Uh, okay. So yesterday I started with the uh, uh, instruction set. We all know 35 instruction. Uh, microchip architecture, RISC microcontroller, only two category of instruction they were saying data processing, programming sequence, data processing, all arithmetic, logical manipulation, copying between the register, all will come under data processing. Program sequence now, obviously it is a call and jump instructions will come under program sequence. So that's all depends on the type of instruction. And this is depends upon the category of instruction. That is how we will classify the instruction. Byte oriented, bit oriented, literal and control operations. Because here in this uh, third unit, especially the question they will ask architecture, memory organization, addressing modes, instruction set. Only four topics are there. Only these four topics can be asked in your part B question. Okay. So instruction set byte. 
we all know all the instructions are 14 word instructions all are 14 word so when you see byte bit and literal so byte means uh, 0 to 6 they allocated 7 bit for file um, register that is file file register okay and d for whether i have to save my file in accumulator or file register if my value is zero means i have to save in my w w is nothing but working register okay d equal to one now it will save in the file register and then one more thing bit oriented instruction bit oriented instruction this will specify the bit address okay and the remaining is for opcode and for file address and then literal and control operations so if it is 8 bit data uh, this will use if it is 11 bit data this will be used so mainly call and go to we will use 11 bit okay now uh, yesterday i have explained uh, actually uh, one single page is for the all instructions totally only this instructions are there okay when you go through the um, uh, pick microcontroller uh, they will classify byte bit literal but the problem is uh, while we are writing we can't able to remember that that's why i have put it according to the type if you remember type automatically it is easy for you to write so arithmetic now you all understand we have only two operations one is i can add my uh, accumulator w means remember working register it's nothing but accumulator working register with the file select register or else working register with the constant constant means the value we will import in the data so add lw comma a that means uh, work uh, constant plus working register or else working register plus file select register file register then similarly w from constant whether it is w minus the value constant value we were importing in the program uh, this is w from f okay similarly and means w with uh, w with sorry what happened w with uh, a constant or w with oh my god okay w with file select register similarly w with constant or w with file select register w with constant or w with file select register similarly i can increment the file select register i can decrement the file select register and this is rotate left through carry and rotate right uh, right through carry okay and the complement means i have to complement the value so bit set bit operation i said bit clear this is equivalent to clear the bit bsf na set the bit so it's nothing but it is equivalent to clear instruction it is equivalent to set b instruction what we learn in microcontroller so bcf bit clear file select register bsf bit set file select register okay and um, this is nothing but a program if i want to change the uh, sequence of the program we all know if i want to change the sequence of the program what are the instruction we have learned in a uh, microcontroller ma branching instructions anyone please tell shanmuga shanmuga branching instructions please tell ma shanmuga are you there nowadays some yes, yes, uh, yeah tell me some branch instructions shanmuga branching instructions yeah Hey, everything is I have put up in the slide. What a doubt for you, man. Huh? BTA. Why you are call function, man? Call, return, jump. Jump. Uh, study well, uh, Shanmuga. You are the good oh, student. Yeah. First classes, you have put some effort and you are telling the answers. Now it is stopped. I don't know why. Huh? Be back. Okay. So, okay, call return jump all these instructions only so here uh, jump we have only uh, three carry here anyone can tell what are the three carry flag in the status registers ma in pick microcontroller what are the three carry flag sorry what is the three flag registers we have seen three flags in um, pick microcontroller anyone, anyone? carry flag uh, carry flag uh, then one more flag zero flag are you clear very good so digit carry flag that is nothing but auxiliary carry flag carry flag and zero flag okay so similarly here uh, this two are nothing but 
jump on bit jump on no bit we have seen now jump on bit means what ma if uh, once again wait jump on bit means my bit is 1 jump on no bit na my bit is 0 are you clear so bit is 1 na jump on bit will work jump on no bit na uh, the bit is 0 so similarly here uh, here we are going to this two relay instructions are related to the bit related instruction bit test we have to test the bit of the f register skip if clear okay that means if bit is 0 means i can jump it is equal to jump on no bit instruction if bit is 1 and now i can jump are you clear so i have to check the bit if the bit is clear means that means if bit is 0 means i can jump or else i cannot so this two are the instruction i have to check the bit test okay so this is nothing but we have seen one uh, instruction djnz did anyone remember djnz what is that instruction ma d j n z what is this instruction popular instruction what is djnz decrement jump on no zero ma very good very good decrement who has said the answer ma aruna devi ma aruna devi very good aruna devi decrement jump on no zero so i can decrement and uh, till the value is zero or not it will keep on check the loop so similarly here also we have decrement and we can check the file register similarly there we don't have a increment in register and here we have a increment register also so decrement and increment and i can check the loop can you understand or not okay then go to actually go to is not available in 8051 go to means uh, it's equivalent to unconditional jump unconditional jump means what jump if i give any address it will go to the address similarly if i give go to automatically it will go to that particular address call what is the use of call instruction ma what is the use of call instruction main to subroutine very good main to subroutine return na subroutine to main super ma so here also we have a two thing call na my program will move, go from main to subroutine return na return from the subroutine are you clear ma so this two are the instruction okay and here that two instructions we have uh, one is uh, there we used a return from the interrupt r e t i v you have seen but here return from interrupt that is isr interrupt service routine if i am putting return from the interrupt or return with constant actually if i want return with the constant in w at that time also i can return so we have a three type of instruction this is not available in the uh, this is not available in the other uh, that is 8051 okay so we have a program flow instruction so we have to check the bit and i have to jump if bit is 0 i can jump if bit is 1 i can jump decrement and jump i have to check by zero flag okay and here in uh, when our zero flag is become 1 that means the entire value become zero i can execute i can exit from the loop i have to increment and i have to jump are you clear this is go to unconditional jump and this is call and this three are the return instruction are you clear ma then the, the last one is data transfer instruction because 35 instructions only that so remember uh, remembering this table will be complicated for you i think this will easy for you okay so uh, data transfer means we all know move constant to lw or move w to f so the, we always know um, uh, we always know source comma destination so the similarly constant to working register or uh, w to f okay then uh, this is also that if i uh, mentioned any uh, move f comma d here we have put na uh, here we have mentioned destination is zero means i have to save it in work register destination d is one na i have to save in file register so that is type of instruction then clear w that is nothing but clear the accumulator clear the file register swap nibble because it's a 8 bit uh, microcontroller i have option of swap okay then last one is this two instruction this is mainly related to the 
oscillator instruction no nop nop na it will stop the oscillator option operation then clr wt clear the watchdog timer okay sleep automatically the microcontroller go into standby mode are you clear so you understand that all arithmetic and logical bit related instructions and uh, program transfer instruction data transfer instructions and then lookup tables along that only they have given this in entire detail so we all know byte bit literal okay so what is literal instruction now we are using any constant now all will comes under bit so add lw that means add working register with the constant add working and working register with constant so all will comes to here okay bit rela byte related instruction now definitely file register and working register will comes but here what d specifies now d means destination where i have to save d equal to i told you here d equal to 0 na it will save in my accumulator d equal to 1 na it will save in file register but 8051 it's not like that okay whenever after my arithmetic and logical operation my uh, my result will stored in accumulator but here it is not like that when d is 0 it will uh, save in sorry when d is 0 na when d is 0 means it will always save in accumulator when d is 1 na it will always save in the file select register so byte actually this one uh, page is enough to study all the instructions are you clear bit oriented instruction means i told you na jump on bit bit clear the bit set the bit jump on bit jump uh, no bit the same three instructions only bit oriented instructions and the literal and the control instructions all the that is uh, program transfer instructions will come and uh, all other thing apart from that we have to do along with the, see this is will be in the alphabetical order are you clear ma this is in alphabetical order so i think better this will be easy for you to study okay so today i will upload in the thing okay yesterday uh, we have conducted one uh, quiz na uh, please students kindly tell me the answers how many clock pulses are confined by each machine cycle of peripheral interface controller four ma four because in 8051 one machine one cycle one. very good the r12 here it is four that's why pic microcontroller is execution speed is faster than uh, 8051 okay which is uh, status bit exhibit carry from lower 4 bit during 8 bit addition and especially beneficial for bcd addition digits carry bit man there it is called as a auxiliary carry auxiliary carry auxiliary carry here it is digit carry okay which operational feature of pick allow to reset especially when the supply drops voltage below 4 volt below 4 volt na which will be used ma brown out reset okay built in power on reset will reset the microcontroller okay it will so brown out is mainly especially when voltage drops automatically the particular oscillator will comes into the picture and automatically what happen na it will even when the voltage is drop it will save the mode okay which register is mandatory to get loaded at the beginning before loading or transferring to destination register working register working register that, that is uh, that is accumulated okay d equal to 0 na it will obviously save it in working register d equal to 1 na it will save it in the file select register what among the below specified function is related to pw mode pw mode here we have capture compare pw mode so what is the answer for this i told you my which how uh, how capture compare pw module works ma anyone tell i have run two times by comparing the carrier wave and anyone you don't remember by comparing the triangular wave hmm? how i told you by comparing the 
carrier wave with the reference wave automatically my pdm pw mode will generate the pulse so here this is nothing but capture mode and this is nothing but compare mode and this is nothing but pw sorry this is nothing but oh my god uh, pwm mode are you clear ma compare capture pwm mode so i can generate my pwm signals here so it so have you put this generation of rectangular wave with different programmable duty cycle because if i vary my uh, uh, how i can change my duty cycle here ma how i can change a how i can change tell me how i can change my duty cycle ratio how i can change this duty cycle formula now what is the formula for duty cycle have you studied uh, your uh, power electronics duty cycle formula anyone ma t not divided by t on uh, t on divided by on period plus off period that is total time period it's a duty cycle so how i can change my duty cycle t on and t off how i can change if i change my compare okay i will clear and i will draw see uh, actually if i put my wave here then automatically what happen ma i can change my duty cycle by changing the compare value can you understand or not so that is the thing okay then which of the architecture are made to speed up the processor cisco or risk ma risk risk why risk is uh, fast why risk is fast why risk architecture is fast fast ma risk architecture was uh, designed with the high frequency so obviously high frequency na the time period will be less so execution will be fast so here always they are designing with the high speed always understand high speed and less instructions in risk that is the thing is spa is a full duplex technique what is spa what is spa what is spa ma serial uh, uh, serial serial peripheral interface ma'am uh, protocol yeah, sp protocol yeah it is a serial protocol full duplex na i can receive as well as i can send so that is possible that okay i think you have done the mistake here only program memory i have given a fill in the blanks somebody if not put the space between 8 kb that it takes wrong i think uh, that is the thing what is the program memory capacity ma whether your answer can be 8 kb or 8k or 8 kilobytes anything you are written uh, correct manufacturer of pic processor is microchip technology true only okay what is the order decided by the processor for of the cpu to control to a instruction what is the order ma what is the order fetch decode execute decode yeah so remember this all quiz for you to refresh the subject only i gave you the quiz okay so see uh, this i will share for you uh, is it visible ma whether it is visible for you yes ma'am yeah see listen uh, i will share this uh, pdf in the lms ma uh, you go through this it's a pic 16f 877 okay 
uh, while i told you there are four questions only there architecture will be there addressing modes will be there instruction set will be there and apart from that we have a uh, architecture addressing modes instruction set and one more memory organization okay so you remember uh, this is architecture diagram are you clear so remember to draw the architecture diagram i uh, here port a port b port c port d port e here while you are drawing at least uh, remember if this is not uh, it's tough for you to remember so remember you all know port a how many bits ma anyone remember port a how many bits port b how many bits port a how many bits six bits ma very good port b uh, port b port c port d are eight bits port e three bits ma very good so port a six bits so r a not to r a five Port B eight bit, R B not to R B seven. Port C also eight bit, Port D also eight bit, Port E three bits. Okay, so you always write architecture na this diagram along with that you write this core features. Actually, I have uh, I will upload the new PPT also. I will upload two PPT. One is in Unit three. One is exclusively for PIC microcontroller and another one ARM seven processor. That I will upload it further. Okay, so you understand uh, microcontroller futures and peripheral future. If you write architecture is over. This is first question. Second question is addressing modes. Okay, they explained all the planes uh, what they have connected. Okay. Uh, memory organization is there i told you um, 8 kb is there for 2k the eight level uh, deep architecture uh, stack architecture then a 13 bit uh, uh, program counter okay data memory so you have to explain data memory organization in this okay actually you can't able to remember all the registers because registers what are the registers we have studied in pic microcontroller ma What are the five registers we are deduced? Remember, anyone? What are the five registers? No. Working register. Ah, uh, very good. Flag register. Ah, uh, that is status FSR, register. FSR. FSR. Ah. Uh, INDF program code. Ah, uh, very good. Only five register. That is enough. You need not to remember all the register. But while you are saying about uh, EE prom register alone, okay. Is it visible, ma? Okay. Uh, e con one, E con two. This is mainly for uh, electrically erasable uh, data memory. We will use so E data data will be there. Then E so one is for uh, uh, programming data and address they were loading. So six registers will be there. Then Trisha A, Trisha B, Trice. Yes, A tries B tries C. That means nothing but these are all used in the all port C, port A, port B, port C, port D, port D as a data movement register. Okay, and uh, this is about status registers we have seen. Then two addressing modes, direct and indirect. So direct addressing mode very simple. Two from bank select, six for location select. Indirect one for bank select and seven from file select register. Okay, this one diagram is enough. Along with that, you have to explain direct and indirect. Then instruction set summary. You have to explain this along with this instruction. Okay, I will. Uh, I think I will share the PPT as well as this PIC microcontroller PDF for you to 